Have you been thinking about buying a new home, maybe new construction in North Texas? Maybe thinking about buying a home in Anna, Texas? Well, if you have, then you are in luck because we are in the very well-known and established community of West Crossing here in Anna, Texas. A lot of people that I know think there's no more opportunity in West Crossing and we're, we're sorry about that because it's a great community and we wish there was. But I'm here to tell you that they've just opened a new phase, a couple of new builders. And today we're gonna be looking at the model home for William, William Ryan Homes. And, and this is a really great mid-tier builder that you don't wanna miss. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. Stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna talk about the range of size of homes you can get here and the range of affordability that you can get here. And it's gonna, it just may surprise you because a lot of people think affordability is gone in Collin County in North Texas. But I'm here to show you today what you can get for a very affordable price. Hi, my name is Phil Martin. I'm the team leader of the Martin Home Team, and my team and I do everything residential real estate in the towns and communities north of Dallas, Texas. Towns like Frisco, Plano, McKinney, Allen, Prosper, Salina, and even here in Anna, Texas. You know, my team and I have been leading people through the home selling and the home buying process for well over a decade, helping them to move with confidence. And if you're just trying to figure out, is there something here for you that's affordable? Is there something here that will fit into the lifestyle you're thinking about? Give us a call, shoot us a text, send an email. What I like the most is schedule a Zoom call face-to-face. -face. We'll learn more about what you want, need, and deserve, and we'll help you move with confidence too. So let's get to it today and talk about William Ryan Homes and their model home here. Of course, William Ryan names their homes after cities of Texas. This is the El Paso floor plan. There's the Lockhart floor plan and, and many other great floor plans. But this floor plan, as you can see, has nice uh, gray trim. It's got buff mortar with some kind of a buff grayish brick and looter stone trim. Very, very nice. And it's got this nice alcove inlet. So. Basically, if someone's at your front door, they're out of the weather, you don't have the Texas sun beating down on your nice, real hardwood door. It's just a nice touch. And it's a single story home. This home is 2,173 square feet, four bedroom, three baths, and this is going to be a three car garage. And so where you see the big window here, this is our two car garage. That's the sales office. Again, we're at the model home. And this is our third car garage off to the side. Now you can build this model with a half garage for storage or a full garage in a three car format like you see. And um, again, remember, stick around until the end of this video because we're going to tell you about what this house would cost and what the range of prices are for houses in William Ryan Homes here in West Crossing. And you're not going to want to miss that. So here we go. So here we are going into the El Paso. And like I said, you've got a really nice lighting package. And look at this tall eight foot door, just a beautiful door. And let's go ahead and go into the house. So as the door swings open, you see you've got some nice tray ceilings up top, long extended hallway, the length of the house, and you can see the entire house and you can see out the back window and it's just it gives you a nice vista as you walk into the house and right to your right we're gonna walk into our first bedroom big bright windows look at that blue sky blue Texas sky just a gorgeous view as we pan around we're gonna come and see the nice trim on these doors and we're gonna go into what looks like a Jack and Jill type bathroom scenario Got a nice vanity come through. And as you close the doors, you can see that we have a separate room. We can close the door for, oh, look at that shower. Nice. They got a real mud pan. Nice tile surround. And of course, coming through, this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we're gonna exit again. There's what it looks like. And into the second of four bedrooms. And let's give you a little look-see, panning across. Now these bedrooms are, you know, basic size bedrooms, look like 10 by 11s. Um, good for starter homes, good for downsizing homes, whatever you're looking for. And as we come about midway into the house, we're gonna have, <laughs> I love it, 
Here's where you'd have your entrance to the three car garage. And as you walk in, you've got the little Texas uh, mud bench, very much a staple here in Texas. And here I'm gonna point out, see you've got a door here and it's making a noise. And let's, uh, it's, it's got a key on it, but we can open it. And here we've got the heater system, right? And here's where I'm gonna start talking about William Ryan Holmes. And one of the things that they really like to talk about and they will promote in their homes is the energy efficient nature of these homes. They've got uh, these homes, you're, we're gonna find a stub out in the garage for an electric vehicle. There's gonna be a stub out if you want to add solar panels, it's already pre-configured for those sorts of things. These homes routinely get a HERS index score and HERS is an indication of the energy efficiency. Um, a, a standard new construction home will have a HERS index of 100 and anything below 100 is going to be more efficient than the average. Now their HERS indexes, right, are usually in the 40s, which is just phenomenal. That means they're using spray foam insulation on the outside walls, they're using two by sixes on the outside walls, they have spray foam insulation in the attic. And did you see the hallway bath? Also a very nice tile surround in the bathroom. Let's come across here. And we're gonna look at, look at the size of this utility room. You got room for a refrigerator or a freezer, your full-size washer and dryer. It even has a window. You wanna wave to your neighbor while you're folding your dainties <laughs> or whatever else you may be doing, right? Well, what's really cool about this house I like so far, as you can see, when we first came in, we had two bedrooms. And then we come a little further down, we have our garage entrance here. We come a little further down and we have bedroom number three and across from the utility room. So all of the extra bedrooms outside the primary are gonna be in that end of the house, on the front end of the house. And so you got a lot of privacy as you come through into the main area. All of a sudden we have a ceiling that kind of vaults up. Beautiful. Well, let's just get a good panorama on this room. We're gonna come across, we've got the transom windows above the taller windows looking out the back. You've got your taller ceiling heights in here. Come around to the eating area. We got a, a, an ample, ample island. And we've got nice quartz, plenty of cabinets. We've got a pretty beefy 36 inch gas cooktop here. Um, nice vent hood. Yeah, so if you like to cook, this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Over here, we've got a deep stainless steel. We've got, uh, looks like oil rub bronze on the finish outs. Um, obviously, you've got a stainless steel appliances here. You've got your microwave and your oven combination built into the cabinetry. That's an upgrade. You've got matching pulls on all your cabinets. And that's really a nice touch because if you'll notice, We've got some hardware here of the uh, oil rub bronze. We've got matching poles on all of our cabinetry, but then we have, right? We have like a, a nickel chrome on the doorknobs. Look at the size of this pantry. This is huge and we do have a light. Put some light on the subject. So you can put your big cooking equipment in here as well as your food. You can actually, this would be a timeout room if somebody gets in trouble. <laughs> And you can easily put four or five people across this island. Big quartz island. Here they put some paneling around the bottom. And this is a little detail you want to look for. Sometimes they'll put drywall across the front of an island. So if people sit at it and they, you know, your feet kick it or what have you, it's going to get scuffed up pretty quick. But when you have this paneling, it's easier to clean, easier to maintain, and it's, it's an upgrade. Now let's come back over here and get a nice lighting package more windows to give us light, which is good. And overall, if you're looking at this video down below in the comments, give us a grade. How would you grade the layout of this house? Would this house be okay? Would this be something that you would like? What do you like about it? What maybe do you not like about it? Here we've got a nice eat-in area and we've got a slider to the outside. We come out onto, looks like about a 10 by eight patio, under roof, which is very nice. Ceiling fan, that's a nice touch. And look at the sky today here in Texas. What a beautiful day. So we come out, 
There are bigger backyards and bigger lots in the area to choose from. We come back here and here's, you can see the raised ceiling portion in your living area. Let's go back in the house and let's get back onto this um, energy efficiency. This house is what you may call, I think I mentioned there's two by sixes on the exterior walls, which increases the insulation space. Oh, I forgot to mention this. You've got a nice gas appliance, fireplace, and it'll heat the room up. And let's just go ahead and get a nice panel of this. There's your front door coming back around, right? And then back to the outside. So a HERS index rating below 50, that means that it's more efficient than uh, the vast majority of houses out there that you see. It's stubbed out, we mentioned, for solar and for electric vehicle in the garage. And it's got that furnace in that closet that's called a heat in furnace. It's not up in your attic, so you don't lose the energy, you know, especially um, if you're cooling in the summer. That thing's in an attic that's 180 degrees. This doesn't happen in this house. Look at this primary bedroom. Lots of light, extra windows up top. It's just done very well. I love the textured carpet. They call this a sculpted carpet at the design centers. This is your sculpted carpet. Comment down below if you like the sculpted carpet or you like the more traditional carpets or do you think you would put your luxury vinyl or your hardwoods in your bedroom like you have in the common areas? What would you do in this house? Nice mirror. Again, nice lighting package and into primary vanity. Oh my gosh. And into the primary bath. Here we have two separate vanities, nice porcelain sinks. You've got the oil rub bronze, big framed mirrors, nice lighting package. And look at this. That's it, folks. Nice big format tiles on the floor, standalone tub. You've got a frameless shower with tile surround to the ceiling. You got the mud pans. It's looking really good. And right into the space of a closet. Lots of room in this closet. Tell me what you think about just the openness to the closet. Would you rather have a door? I don't know, maybe you put up the uh, hippie beads <laughs> to separate the closet from the bath. Or are you okay, are you, or are you okay with just the open bath? Thank you.